Over the course of the last century, we've seen quite dramatic changes in um, these different elements of uh, the cryosphere. Uh, notably, we've seen uh, significant losses in Arctic sea ice. Uh, we've seen decline in uh, the volume of ice uh, locked up in glaciers. And we've also been witnessing changes in the large ice sheets, Greenland and Antarctica. The consequence, of course, is that uh, sea level is rising as water is transferred from ice on land into the ocean. talk about uh, the impact of, of melting snow and ice surfaces in terms of what's known as the albedo effect. Um, when snow is dry, it's very reflective and of course that helps to uh, reflect sunlight uh, back out into space and the consequence is we can reduce uh, the amount of melting this way. However, as um, ice and snow melt, uh, the albedo and the reflectivity becomes lower and this has the effect of absorbing more uh, of the solar energy. This contributes to further warming and further melting and so it's a runaway uh, progressive effect uh, caused by the reduction in, in the albedo. <laughs> 